Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, part three. The gentleman asked me, this is what he trades, and he asked me to critique it. That, to me, is unacceptable. But, you know, if we look at it, like right there. But he sent the file to me, or at least I received it as a half a point. If we make it a hairline, a lot of those lines go away, the cut line. So I'm thinking you're going to need a cut line anyway. So that's a good sharp line. He did a good job of getting rid of, you know, the double lines. I need to break it apart. Go up to object group and ungroup so we can grab the shape tool. He did a good job of, of separating the lines with the... Um, so not having any double lines, if we take that line and move it away, that, that's just one line. Now, when you look at this in a thicker line, you're going to get, well, that's too much. Uh, you're going to get some of these weird shapes. But you could, let's say you're going to engrave that. So what you're going to do is grab this one with your shape tool and go hit F12 on your keyboard and put rounded corners and look at the difference. Let me back up here. Let me open the F12 and move it out of the way and pick rounded corner on your node and it's going to give you that effect. Now that doesn't change anything if you're using hairline anyway because you're going to get the same look. The only other thing I could critique in your drawing are these this curvy line. So two ways you could do it. One, we could take the line away and just draw a new line between the two points. And, you know, like that's pretty much a square point and that's a square point. And I always draw a hairline anyway, so there's the factor. This doesn't have a peak. You know, I don't know in the original drawing if it's supposed to be, but that's where those two lines meet. Let's try this. Let's try grabbing that, grabbing that with the shape tool and select both of them. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and let's join those together. And now, if it's supposed to have a peak, you could make a peak uh, more so. Let me zoom in, grab that, and make that, you know, maybe more of a peak. But, you know, that's depending on the drawing. You know, if you had a peak or not a peak, but we're going to leave it like it is, but we're going to take a two-point line and just go from that node to that node. It looks a little bit off, but at least your lines are straight now. And I don't know if this is supposed to be one continuous straight line. And it's really not in the drawing because the drawing actually has both those colors. So let's take that line away. Um... We should take the virtual segment delete key and make this one line. And here's what we could do. And I'm just grasping at straws. See how it's not, this is a straight line, but this is not in it. Then just take your shape tool, probably join those two curves, and then just move that to that peak. Anyway, other than that, he did a really good job of tracing. Uh, looks good. He, you know, he got rid of some double lines. Like if we grab that item right there and nudge out of the way, he took away that line. So that's going to work. But I still think part two is going to be more helpful because he's going to have to be cutting out a different colored vinyl. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.